The closure of RAF Larbrook in Germany has moved a stage nearer with a farewell parade for the station's two guard squadrons. Numbers 1 and 26 Squadron RAF Regiment are moving back to RAF St Morgan and RAF Waddington in the UK after half a century of collective service in Germany. Their departure sets Larbrook on the road to closure, which is planned for next year. But commanders say the future of the RAF Regiment looks secure. Marching on for the last time at Larbrook to the band of the Royal Air Force Regiment. The numbers 1 and 26 squadrons and 1 RAF Taxto HQ, this is their last act in Germany, in a role that's involved them here collectively for more than 50 years. Reviewing the parade, the AOC number 38 group, Air Vice Marshal Philip Sturley. He says the contribution they've made to RAF operations is immense. Since uh, the end of the Cold War, with the Gulf, uh, with the Falklands uh, continuing our commitment there um, both of the squadrons have been constantly on uh, deployment and of course they've had tremendous support from the local people here and from their own families for these lengthy times away. It's also appropriate that they should say goodbye on the 80th anniversary of Armistice Day. One squadron has special reason to remember two of its own, SAC's John Baxter and John Miller-Reed who were killed in an IRA bomb attack at Neubergen in May 1988. It's very much a chance for us to show uh, the squadron in a good light as it seems to have been at all times it's been out here. Um, also a chance to remember the two people who were sadly killed uh, in 1988 um, and a very nice way to mark the end of a tour in Germany. Today's parade and the open day which follows is aimed very much at the families who played a major role in supporting the men in the countless tasks they've undertaken both in Germany and elsewhere, reflected in the static display. Among the work they'll long be remembered for is the flood relief effort when the River Mars burst its bank near Larbrook in 1995. Many Dutch and German local people have good reason to be grateful to members of the squadrons. We got the shout and we were out there within literally hours, but uh, we were out there working for quite a few weeks on the flood relief, teaching the locals how to sandbag as well as doing the majority of it ourselves. But uh, the locals were very glad to have us there. And I think that was reflected in the British press as well. Both 1 and 26 Squadron RAF Regiment have much to look back on. More recently, their work outside Germany, supporting RAF operations in places like the Gulf. I was here in the mid-80s. Uh, at that time, the squadron was rolled as a light armoured squadron. We, our primary role was to defend the Harrier Force when it deployed in its bases near the former inner German border. Um, at that time, yes, it, life was very busy. I think the main difference was though we were generally Germany-based. This time around, the squadron was done six months in Bosnia, has only just recently returned from a two-month tour in Northern Ireland. Uh, we're getting out and about a lot more. The squadron has been here for over 22 years, and so um, people have enjoyed their time in Germany. I've got a lot of guys on the squadron that have been here for four or five years, and so yes, it is very much mixed feelings, but you know what it's like when you're packing up your house. The guys have packed their houses, they're ready to move, and we're looking forward to moving to Royal Air Force Wellington, but we'll look back at Larbrook with some fond memories. The RAF Regiment's departure from Larbrook is the latest and most high-profile sign of the station's demise, which will be closed by the spring of next year. But the future looks a bright one for the RAF Regiment, which only a few years ago was itself under threat. It is true that the regiment throughout its, its history has had times when people questioned its, uh, its, its utility. But I think uh, anybody who was doubting, um, having seen how they operated in the Gulf most recently, in Ali Al Salem, when we were preparing for operations earlier this year, and indeed now when we're having to react to the latest uh, problems there, the RF regiment, in every job they've been given, um, have proved themselves second to none. Today does. Uh, Mark, the, the real beginning of the drawdown, I'm afraid. We've kind of held it at bay a little bit. We've had operational focuses which have taken our time and our attention uh, up till now, and those continue for the Harriers. But as far as uh, the Royal Air Force Regiment is concerned, and 1 and 26 squadrons in particular, uh, this is, I'm afraid, uh, the end, and we will miss them very much for all sorts of reasons. For 1 and 26 squadrons, their immediate futures lie at RAF St Morgan and Waddington, respectively. But here at Larbrook, for them, it's the end of an era.